Yes, good morning. And interestingly enough, the union says that grievance was filed before those two workers tested positive here at Ford's Dearborn truck plant. And they say that those positive cases further make their case that Ford started back to work too soon. The union claims unsafe work conditions in its grievance filed against Ford last Tuesday. Wednesday, the UAW says one worker tested positive, another on Thursday, sending 20 people who may have had contact with them into quarantine. The union says it wants the plant shut down until workers can get full and regular testing, also to allow for an extra 20 minutes of break time. They say work is more difficult having to wear masks on the assembly line. And for every positive COVID-19 result, they want the plant shut down for a 24-hour deep cleaning. Union rep Gary Walkovich compared the situation to meat packing plants suffering from COVID-19's impact. Where many people have uh, been exposed to the virus, contacted the virus, and have died. We've seen that for grocery store workers. Uh, but for auto workers, certainly uh, those, we think all for, for all workers, we need to have a safe workplace. And certainly, I think, as I said earlier, I think the lives of auto workers right now are more important than building two trucks. Yes, and if Ford re rejects that grievance, the UAW says it is prepared to escalate that complaint to the International Union. Ford says that the safety of their workforce is their top priority and that their safety protocols continue to evolve as they learn more about this disease. Live in Dearborn this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, thank you for that update, Darren.